Oh, hello there! Today we are doing a Final Fantasy XIV job rank tier list. Perhaps the most brain rot um, of all tier lists is which job is my favorite. I'm gonna just go through like in order of the whatever that's on here. Jeez. Now, I have played every class in Final Fantasy XIV. If you don't know, Final Fantasy XIV is a critically acclaimed MMO with over 30 million copies sold. A free trial up to the third expansion, Stormblood. <laughs> and uh, it's uh, what consumes my life and my very soul and my very being. I spend way too much time play playing Final Fantasy XIV. So today we're ranking them. We're ranking the classes. Um, from my personal favorite, this is absolutely not like a which class is best, quote, best, or whatever. Um, yeah, just which ones I like to play. So, I hope you guys enjoy watching me stumble through making this video. Um, but yeah, we'll just start with Dragoon. Now, I do, I like a melee DPS, okay? I will say Dragoon is probably my second least played melee DPS behind Ninja, which we'll get to Ninja. But I do really like Dragoon and obviously spoilers to Final Fantasy XIV's story, but the dragons are really cool. Heavensward is objectively one of the best expansions and um, yeah, I just feel like the whole class image, the whole vibe of Dragoon is really cool and I mean you play with the lands that's also really cool and uh it's pretty fun to play you have a raid buff you feel like you're doing good um so you know what I'm gonna give Dragoon I'm gonna give Dragoon an A actually I was gonna give it a B but Dragoon actually is pretty fun to play I just don't find myself playing it that much um I am currently getting like Heaven's Word relics, and I really, really, really want the uh, Dragoon Heaven's Word relic. So I might find myself playing a bit more Dragoon once I get the relic, but yeah, for the most part, I just don't find myself gravitating towards Dragoon. But it is really fun to play, so I think I should play it more. Now, next up, we have Viper. Viper is just immediately going into S. Um, Viper is like objectively one of the most fun melee to play it is so unbelievably brain dead i love it in every way it's the best kind of brain dead that it could possibly be um the whole thing that 7.0 jobs have set up for us with the subsequent subsequent uh button combos to uh help reduce like hot bar bloat and things like that are absolutely incredible it is my favorite thing about the 7.0 jobs Viper and Pictomancer is the uh, subsequent job actions and I'm literally dying for them to implement it for the rest of the jobs. I think they're doing that right? Like I know we have some combos that have subsequent actions but I need like all of the jobs to play the way Viper and, and Pictomancer do or even like the way Summoner plays. You can tell Summoner, they, de they definitely were cooking something in the subsequent job actions with Summoner. I think it really shows that the, the direction that they wanted to take with uh, 7.0 jobs. And I need all my jobs to play that way now, please. And thank you, especially looking at you, Black Mage, looking at you, uh, Samurai, looking at you. All of them. Please fix it. Subsequent job actions, please. And thank you. But yes, I truly love playing Viper. I think the class identity is really cool. Um, I want to do the Omega Ultimate <laughs> to get the weapons. The Omega Ultimate weapons for Viper look so cool. Um, and yeah, Viper is nice for me. I, again, I'm a little biased towards melee DPS, but Viper is a clear S um, for me. So next we have White Mage. 
<laughs> okay, I'm gonna put White Mage in A. I wanted to like immediately put White Mage in S because White Mage was the first healer that I really played. I love them in level one all the way to 190 and Endwalker. I mained it and Endwalker. White Mage is just, White Mage is my feel good. I turn off my brain and heal class. Uh, and yeah, White Mage is just, I don't know, it's a really like feel good class. I know there are some issues with White Mage, with it being like your heals, your main heals are global cooldowns and so you can't do as much damage as you could, but your Flatus Misery is supposed to make up for the damage that you're not doing with your global cooldowns by healing. But then the Aflatus Misery only does enough damage to make up for it if you use it within a rate buff, which just isn't practical. Yada yada yada, I know, but I don't care and it I, it feels good to play White Mage. Um, generally I feel like in most casual content and that's, that's, that's kind of the, that's what we're, that's the setting, okay, is casual content for the most part here is what I'm envisioning, so. White Mage is a solid A, I would give it an S. And we'll get to why later. Because I've been maining Astrologian. And then that's why I'm giving that's honestly why I'm giving White Mage an A, because Astrologian is just so infinitely more fun to play. And it's becoming a little bit more brain dead for me now, so yeah. <laughs> um moving on to Monk. Monk is a nest tier for me. Again, I'm strongly biased towards melee DPS. <laughs> Like, I'm a healer main in the game. I prefer healing over pretty much any other role, but if I had to DPS, like if I absolutely had to DPS, I would pick Monk, Summoner, or Dancer. Those are my three that I would just go to to play any content. Monk and Dancer specifically for like Savage or Extreme. Um, I would gravitate, gravitate towards them more than say like, I don't know, Pictomance or a Viper even. Just because they're like my tried and true. Um, I really, really like the class identity for Monk. Uh, and I think it's incredibly fun to play. I know a lot of people get like confused with the Monk rotation and everything, but especially in 7.0, they kind of just made it like way simpler than it already was really simple, but they made it like even simpler. And now it's just Monk is, like Viper is kind of replacing Monk for my feel good brain dead class, but Monk is just, it has the rate buff and the class identity is really cool and the job actions are really cool and the animations I think are kind of, they are, you know, they're cool and they're fun and I like them. I like Monk, Monk is an S tier. I know a lot of people don't like playing Monk and I, I don't really understand why. Uh, because personally I think it's really fun, but I always hear, I'm a mentor, and I always see, I, people are always talking in the Namus Network like, what is Monk's rotation? I don't understand Monk. Why is Monk so confusing? Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I don't know why people are so confused by Monk. I really, really enjoy it. You should try Monk. Especially if you like melee. If you play Samurai, try Monk. Monk is really cool and fun. Uh, so moving on to Dark Knight. This might be controversial, but I'm going to give Dark Knight a solid C. And hear me out, because the class identity for Dark Knight is immaculate. I love the long sword. It's really cool. The, uh, the job quest, the storyline, is also really amazing. I think, if I remember correctly, the same person who wrote the Dark Knight job quest storyline wrote most of the story for Shadowbringers or did the storyboarding for Shadowbringers or something like that. So if you like Shadowbringers and you skipped the Dark Knight storyline, you missed out. You missed out because it's really good. The Dark Knight storyline is really good. Now, however, as a healer main, Dark Knight is one of the most frustrating tanks to play with because I have to actually heal them. Yes. And don't get me wrong, because I'm not the kind of healer that just like, I just want to DPS, I don't want to heal. The reason I like being a healer main is because I like being able to heal and keep the party alive. That feels good to me. And it's, it's really not that I have an issue with healing, it's just that Dark Knight has so little self-healing utility that it can be very frustrating to play with and... Yeah, I don't know, it's just... Of all the tanks, it's kind of objectively 
the worst tank in most settings. I know for like DPS it's the best in like Savage and stuff or something like that, but I don't really play a lot of Savage, <laughs> so I'm getting into raiding. So keep in mind, this is with the, the <laughs> this is just with personal preference with throughout, with throughout playing the game, most casual content, leveling all these jobs. All right, next we have Bard. Now, <laughs> I, I personally feel like Bard is actually pretty fun to play. I'm partial to physical range DPS um, in that I was a dancer main. <laughs> so like, I actually didn't, Bard was actually the last DPS that, uh, sorry, physical range DPS that I leveled. So I feel like that kind of set the tone for me enjoying Bard and I wish because like Bard's whole thing is to support the party, but I wish it was a little more potent or something. Like you give like 1% <laughs> damage buffs and it just feels a little silly, but playing a Bard does feel pretty good. I'm going to give Bard a B because it is like fun to play, but the class identity isn't necessarily my favorite. It just doesn't like resonate with me that much. And yeah, I don't know. I wish I felt a little more like powerful as Bard. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to give it a B. Now, Summoner. Now, Summoner. Summoner is actually what I started playing uh, 14. I started as Arcanist. It was my first ever job. It's the first job I leveled, I think, to 50. Because I was just playing to the MSQ. I don't think I unlocked any jobs. I, I'm pretty sure I, like, only played summoner until i got to 50 and then i think i unlocked samurai i think samurai was like the second job that i ever played i think something like that um so i think just because of my bias i had to get summoner s tier <laughs> but okay hear me out i never played summoner before like the big endwalker changes or unless it was shadowbringers i don't remember Whatever the, the the major overhaul that they made to Summoner, I never played the Summoner before that. But the Summoner that we have now, I adore. I love it. It's perfect in every way. Your rotation is nonstop. You basically like don't ever really have any downtime. It is not the most powerful class. However, it feels really fun to play. I like the summons. I love my Carbuncle. My Carbuncle means everything to me. He's my... He's my little buddy. I adore him. I do want more Carbuncle Glamours. This is just an aside, but the Diamond Carbuncle, the Obsidian Carbuncle, why can't we have them? Why can't I have the Diamond Carbuncle? Like, explain it to me, Square Enix, um, because I need it. I want more Carby Glams, um, but that's just an aside. Overall, I really, really enjoy Summoner. Uh, like I said before, the subsequent actions on Summoner are just good it's just summoner was always beautiful to me and how i play controller for context so how little actions i needed on my hotbar i've always loved that about summoner so summoner gets an s all right moving on to samurai samurai let's wait let's wait before i before i do samurai where to go oh no she's right there before i do samurai let's talk about samurai because samurai Yes, was the first was the first melee DPS I ever played. And this was coming from starting as a caster. So I started this MMO as an arcanist. And this was one of the first MMOs I ever played. So I had to get used to a lot of things and learn a lot of things. And as a caster, I always would be so frustrated by having to stand there and cast. At times, at times it would be very frustrating, especially when like I needed to move for mechanics and it just feels bad if you don't really know how to utilize your slide casting or how to keep uptime as a caster. It's just something that I, I didn't really know how to do and so I would become very frustrated with Summoner after a little while. And so I was looking to start a new class and it was recommended to me that I start Samurai because I was level 50 and you can unlock uh, samurai level 50 and uh yeah so i picked up samurai and like kind of fell in love with it in a really real way like i had never played a melee dps so it was just such a totally i hadn't played any other class i had only played arcanist so it was like such a totally different experience for me and i really 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 enjoyed playing samurai now 
how do I feel about Samurai holding up with the other melee DPS? I'm not quite sure anymore because... At, a t at one time, I might have ranked Samurai my favorite melee. But now that I've played all the melee DPS, I think I'm gonna have to put Samurai in A just because... Frankly, Viper and Monk just wildly outshine it for me. Like, Samurai used to be like just my brain dead melee, but I don't know. Now when I play Samurai, I just find myself like, I don't really resonate that much with the class identity. And like, I don't know. It is fun to play, especially at level uh, 90. The level 90 rotation is pretty fun and you feel really cool and you feel really powerful. And I know Samurai is, you know, it does a lot of DPS. It's a high damage class, but I'm gonna have to give it a day. I'm gonna have to give it a day. Just because the other melee DPS I think are more fun for me now that I've played them all. Um, like just, I don't know, Viper just kind of blows it way out of the water. Like in every way, I think it has comparable DPS as well. Like I think Viper is out DPSing Samurai now, right? Not that I'm super big on my parses or anything, but yeah. So Samurai gets an A, really fun to play, but not compared to Viper and Monk. <laughs> uh, so moving on to Scholar. Scholar is hmm, tough for me because I'm sort of, if I had to rank like the healers, I would say Astrologian, Scholar, White Mage and Sage. Now, I that's just for personal preference. Scholar is like kind of objectively like one of the best healers in the game, if not the best healer in the game. I know right now the meta is like heavily. Okay, side note, there is no like true meta in 14, but the meta is really leaning toward Astrologian, especially in Savage and Ultimate content. Not necessarily Ultimate, but Savage and Extreme content. It's leaning heavily towards, or you could say, gravitating heavily towards Astrologian. Um, but I still think just the sheer utter utility you have as Scholar, it has to be an S tier. Scholar is always described as a shield healer or barrier healer, and it truly is, but Scholar has everything. You have Rage, so does Sage, I know, but Scholar has regions. You have shields, big, fat, beautiful, juicy shields. You have a cute, super adorable fairy pet. I'm so partial to the classes that have that like more like unique identity where there's like something else going on to it. It isn't just like pew pew or, you know, slash slash <laughs> or whatever. Like I think Scholar is like really fun to play. I feel like the skill floor for Scholar is a little bit higher, so it's definitely, it feels more fulfilling and rewarding when, when you've actually really learned how to play it. I will say admittedly, I don't have as much playtime on Scholar as like any of the other healers, but it is definitely, definitely up there with my favorite. And the, good God, the level 99 artifact gear for Scholar is immaculate. Like, I adore it. It looks so cute. I really, 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 really like it. It's objectively the best scholar uh, job gear that we've gotten so far. Now, moving on to Pictomancer. Pictomancer is getting an S. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Pictomancer is getting an S. Now, when I was originally thinking about doing this video, doing this tier list, I thought to myself, I'm gonna give Pictomancer an S. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm gonna give Pictomancer like a B. And here's why, because when you're playing Pictomancer, it feels bad to me to sit there and paint my spells um, in my rotation. Like, I really wish that didn't feel as bad to me. I think it's really just a me issue and like your DPS makes up for it for the downtime, but it just intrinsically like feels bad to me to have this like downtime. And I know like you can be rewarded by knowing a fight and knowing when there's like a phase transition or whatever. And usually that will line up with your rotation to paint your motives. But it still feels bad, especially in like lower content. It's just 
Pectomancer and Raids, insanely fun to play, but it is just, I'm still gonna keep it an S because the class identity is amazing, the job actions are amazing, the subsequent actions again are just wonderful for Pectomancer, and I'm a, I love casters, okay? I do love casters, so it's just, it's such a unique caster and it, it 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 has so many things going for it that really make it kind of its own thing even though it does it is kind of just like i don't know it's like it's almost sort of like if you put like summoner and black mage together i don't even know if that's kind of not really even but it kind of is at the same time um so yeah just for its like sheer uniqueness and maybe a little bit for its like newness i'm giving i'm giving it an s love picto love pictomancer i need to play it more i got a little burnt out from Picto because I I played it through Dawn Trail so I got like a little tiny bit burned out and like I said the whole downtime thing is hard for me I gotta get good you know what I mean with Picto but it's getting an S and we love the job stone it's so cute and unique uh moving on to Paladin Paladin I'm going to get Paladin <sighs> this is kind of hard actually Paladin has that thing going for it where it's like the meteor class. It's like, you know, it's job identity is really cool. I like that it has a little bit more like healing utility, it, like sort of in the same way like Gunbreaker does. Uh, we have like, you can cast spells to heal. I think that's really cool. I like that Paladin has the party in mind. A lot of its actions are like cover, whatever. Re Paladin rewards you for paying attention to the party. And I think that's really fun. I think compared to the other tanks, though, I cannot give it S tier. But I don't want to give it B tier. But I don't know, it's something about it. I don't know if it fits in A tier for me. I think I will give it A tier. I think I will give Valen an A tier, but for some reason, I don't know. I wish there was like something in between like A and B, like, because it's just, I, I'm, I'm truly comparing it to the other tanks. So like, I don't know. It is really fun to play and I do like the class identity, but there's just something about it. Like, I think I want like more from Paladin. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it, I guess. now. Gunbreaker. Gunbreaker is an immediate S for me. I adore Gunbreaker. Gunbreaker is without a doubt my absolute favorite tank. It is without a doubt the most fun tank to play. You have absolutely everything that you need as Gunbreaker. Like your you kind of have like the subsequent action thing going on already with Gunbreaker where you have your uh, whatever it's called. I almost said rip to tear. What is it? Ready to tear? Ready to rip? Whatever it is. Your little combo. Their subsequent actions. It's nice. You have a hot. You have heart of corundum. You have uh, everything you need. But Gunbreaker is just a perfect tank. And then like literally every way. In the class identity. In the job actions. In the mit and healing utility. It's a perfect tank. I love, 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 love Gunbreaker. Um, will always probably be my favorite tank unless they come out with a new cooler tank that <laughs> beats out Gunbreaker for me. I'm not sure they ever will, but Gunbreaker, an infinite S. I would give it infinite S's. It's an amazing tank. If you've never played Gunbreaker and you like tanks, play Gunbreaker. A lot of people say Gunbreaker is like the three DPS in a tank trench coat and it kind of does feel like a dps when you're playing it um but yeah like if your healer dies and you're a gun breaker you can finish that boss fight you're good like if you're in a dungeon and your healer dies and you're gun breaker you can finish that boss fight you're fine uh whereas like with dark knight or something it might you just can't you can't do that i mean maybe you could but in my opinion it's way easier to do that with something like Gunbreaker or paladin than it would be with like Dark Knight. Now, Warrior, Warrior, I'm gonna give an A. Now, Warrior is like objectively the best tank, like for just sheer utility and what it can do. And I know that, but for the class identity, I don't love, love, love it. I like 
being a cute bunny girl with a big axe. I do like that. It's not that I... I don't know. It's not that I don't love the class identity. It's just that there's something about it that doesn't, like, resonate with me as deeply as, like, Gunbreaker does. And... I think ultimately my issue with Warrior is that it just doesn't feel that fun to play. And I'm not sure if that's like a me issue or what, because I know a lot of people really like playing Warrior. And uh, you do feel really powerful as Warrior with the mitt utility that you have, but it's just like, uh, I don't know, something about it just, I don't enjoy playing it. I think it's just like the actual DPS rotation. Something about it feels really confusing to me in a way that's really unnecessary. Like the like berserk combo or whatever, like it's like way more complicated than it needs to be and I don't understand why. <laughs> I don't understand why. It is probably just a me issue. But yeah, I'm gonna, gonna keep Warrior in A just because it doesn't feel that fun to play for me, but it is like objectively the best tank. Again, this is kind of where I wish there was something in between like S and A, <laughs> but yeah, it's getting an A now. Astrologian. <laughs> We're here. We've reached Astrologian. Oop. No, no, no. Get your butt in ass. Astrologian is... Oh God, it is just... It's... I know earlier I said Scholar was like objective to the best healer, but I don't know. Ast Astrologian is just so truly fun to play. I adore playing Astrologian. I know it has like the lowest like personal DPS or whatever because you're giving everyone your, your damage with buffs and... We'll talk about it a little more when we get to Dancer, but usually I would have an issue with a lower personal DPS, but with Astrologian, you just feel like so powerful. The class identity is incredible, amazingly cool. All of the job actions are actually beautiful. The uh, animations and the effects for all the actions are just beautiful and phenomenal the lb3 is the coolest lb3 in the game other than reapers and i will stand by that you will never convince me otherwise of anything else i adore astrologian i'm a true astrologian main i just got my heaven's word relic final step <laughs> the canopus canopus lux i don't know if i'm saying that right but i adore astrologian in every way um I was really hesitant with the changes that they made in uh, 7.0 for Astro because I was really maining Astro in uh, Endwalker like post content where I would play like a lot of raids and stuff as Astro and so I was like really hesitant but I'm sold completely on the 8.0 well 7.0 Astro uh, I love the way the cards work now it's not necessarily more simple. Like I wouldn't necessarily say it's like simplified from what it was in Endwalker, but it feels way more accessible, I would say. Like the skill floor is still like above like white mage, but like it's not quite like, you know what I mean? It's like a feel good. It's right there where you feel like, okay, I'm doing good. I'm giving everyone their buffs, I know my rotation, I can heal literally anything for anyone, and we're good. I just love Astro. I love being rewarded with the like kind of delayed heals that also do damage um, by knowing like a fight. It's just, Astro is just an amazing healer. If you don't play Astro, I highly recommend it. It is right now probably my favorite class in the game, other than Dancer, because I'm a Dancer main. We're moving on to Dancer. Now, Dancer. <laughs> now, Dancer, I'm gonna just go ahead and give it an S. <clears throat> because, here's the thing. I went from playing Arcanist to Summoner to unlocking Samurai, right? And from what I was saying earlier, from the uh, sort of restrictions I felt from playing a caster to feeling so free playing Samurai as melee DPS, to my just my head exploding to what a physical range dps is just the sheer like freedom of movement that you have to keep up time whatever okay dancer has the lowest personal dps of any class in the whole game i think actually it is astro as the lowest personal dps but of a, of the dps 
Dancer is the lowest personal DPS, and is that just so unfortunate? Yes, it is. I know you're, quote, giving your damage to the rest of the party, but it just doesn't feel like it makes up for it. Like, I truly, madly, deeply think Dancer needs, like, a little bit of a rework, just in that either, like, Devilment should go out to the whole party and not just you and your dance partner, and it should maybe be less, like a 10% buff instead of 20% buff. I don't know if that would, I feel like that would be better at least a little bit because then they could buff dancers, personal DPS. Will they ever do that? No. And I know that. And I know that. But ultimately, dancer is still one of my favorite classes to play. I mained, I mained dancer uh, like pretty much all through Endwalker. Um, and then picked up like white mage, in like post in walker and then did most of post in walker as like white mage and dancer and then that was when i picked up astro and was doing like you know thalia with astro but dancer truly is like objectively i think the best physical range dps regardless of the issues that it has and one of the most fun classes to play in the game I gotta say, I just think Dancer is just insanely fun to play. It has its issues. Of course, it's a physical range DPS. Of course, it has its issues. But I'm a true Dancer man. I love, love, love the class identity. I feel so cute. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to Dancer in 8.0. I know like we're still like really early in 7.0, but like I'm really hoping that we get some slight changes to most if not all the jobs frankly in 8.0 and i think they are planning that but the physical range dps job class as a whole needs fixing and i'm hoping dancer gets a little bit of that like for sure love dancer though s s tier now reaper reaper was i think like the second melee dps I ever played Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Because I got to Endwalker and uh, I think I was in post Endwalker when I unlocked Reaper. Or maybe not. Actually, maybe not. I think I was in Shadowbringers when I unlocked Reaper. I don't remember anymore. But I, I remember playing Samurai and loving that. And then playing Reaper and being like, oh my god, Reaper is the best melee DPS. Like, objectively, it just is. Now, I think... Before Viper had come out, <clears throat> I would have put... Gosh, this is actually a hard one. I want to put Reaper in S tier for a few things. The class identity, the, the sheer utter fun that you have with the rotation, and the LB3 is just objectively the coolest in the game. You know what? I'm going to put Reaper in... I'm going to put Reaper in S because I just remembered zero. <laughs> and I I truly think Reaper is one of the best melee DPS to play. Um, I think Reaper is really, really, really fun to play. It's just, I've gravita gravitated away. Is that? I've moved away from Reaper a little bit. Just, if I'm gonna play melee DPS, I'm gonna play Viper or Monk. I, I, it's just, it, it's nothing personal against Reaper. I, I just sort of find myself now more wanting to play something more like Monk or Viper. But Viper, uh, sorry, Reaper is still an S tier melee DPS. I was trying to tell myself, mm, no, it's A tier, but it's, it's an S tier. Now, Red Mage, mmm. Guys, I don't know. I sort of want to put Red Mage in like B. <sighs> I don't know. See, the thing is that I like the class identity for Red Mage. It's super fun. It's really cool. I think Red Mage is one of the most like unique casters in that you have the like the whole dual cast system. You can feel really highly mobile with red mage and the job actions are all really fun and the animations are gorgeous and i think ultimately red mage is i don't i don't even really know how to explain it it's just 
There is something like a little frustrating about playing Red Mage. I'm not exactly sure what it is for me. Something about Red Mage like frustrates me a little bit. And I, I guess I haven't really exactly pinpointed what it is. And it's like, at the same time, it feels wrong to put it in B. But you know what? I'm going to have to move it into A because Here's the thing, with Red Mage's dual cast and being able to not only raise and cure, I think I think I have to give it an A just for its sheer utility. But if I'm talking strictly from do I enjoy playing it, I would give it a B. But I then at the same time, it's like if I'm progging a raid or something, being a Red Mage can feel really good because you can avoid wipes and things by resin healers, etc. So I'm gonna put in an A. But again, there's just something there's something about Red Mage that just bothers me. I don't know exactly what it is, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's the whole like your AoE and single target actions are like reversed. Maybe that irritates me <laughs> a little bit. I don't know. But we'll we'll leave it an A. We'll leave it an A. Now for Machinist, my my boyfriend's gonna be mad at me, but I'm gonna put Machinist in B. My boyfriend is a Machinist main, and um, I played Machinist for actually quite a while after I leveled Dancer. I leveled Machinist because I was like, okay, I like physical range DPS. Like I'll play Machinist. The problem with Machinist, and I'm God, I'm even tempted to give it a C. The problem with Machinist is they have absolutely no fucking clue what they're doing with this class. It is insane how goofily patched together this class is, how little it makes sense, how you basically have no AoE rotation, and the whole concept of Machinist was that it was it has no raid buff, it has uh, only like summit, like tactician and dismantle. The whole point was that your personal DPS as a machinist was supposed to be higher and therefore you did not need a raid buff. But machinist just feels bad to play. And I don't know why that is for me. I think it's just the whole like having to spam the gauss round and whatever the other action is called. It just doesn't feel good. For me to play even though i do really enjoy the class identity as muddled <laughs> as it is like i sort of wish they had like properly leaned heavier into the like gadget tinkerer machinist vibe because they did not lean into the gunslinger aspect so it just feels like it's in this weird... You know what? I gotta give it C. I'm sorry. I have to give Machine a C just because it's a mess. It's an utter mess. And it, I said it's not that fun to play. It's honestly... It honestly can be fun to play. It's just... Pretty much only at level 90 to 100. Everything else, you just have two buttons. So it's just... And then you're just spamming those two buttons and it just doesn't feel fun to play. I, I, I don't know. There was a time when I did actually really like Machinist, but I think after having played all of the other classes now, there's just something about Machinist, you know? It's a mess. It's a mess. They need to fix Machinist. I think literally everyone who plays Machinist or who mains physical range DPS uh, share this opinion and might even put Machinist in D. Even if they main it, they would probably still put it in D. So I don't know. Machinist is just, it's a shame. I'm really, really hoping that Machinist gets a major overhaul in a real way that benefits it instead of resetting it back to something and making it worse, which is what they keep doing with it. So, sorry, Machinist mains, but Machinist gets a C, and I was even tempted to put it in D. I'm gonna be real, uh, but I think it belongs in C with Dark Knight. Now, Ninja immediate D. Immediate D and I do not care and I actually will not be taking comments on this Ninja is Objectively the least fun melee class for me to play Not only do you have to memorize so much and I'll, I'll I will acknowledge that this is a skill floor issue for me 
you have to memorize so much with the jutsus i don't really vibe that much with the class identity and then the way that you're actively publicly shamed and embarrassed for messing up <laughs> your jutsus just feels so bad i i just don't enjoy playing ninja the little bunny that shows up on your head when you do mess up is really cute and i'll give it that but it's public shame okay it is public shame and embarrassment and it's just i don't know i just have never really liked ninja it's got its own thing going for it and i do understand why people like ninja especially like i said it is honestly just a skill floor issue for me but it's just kind of a bad class and i don't like it i don't like it it's just not it i don't enjoy it now sage <sighs> you remember earlier when i said i would rank the healers as scholar astrologer and white mage and sage i still think that and it is not because sage isn't fun to play or has the same utility it's just Oh God, even the class identity is really cool for Sage. And I want to get into Sage. I want to I want to play Sage and I want to be into it. I want to be like, yeah, I'm playing Sage. But there's just something about it that frustrates me. It's like the same the same way that I feel about Red Mage. It's sort of like. I don't feel like I have control because I need the. Uh, adder's gall gauge to do instant heals and i'm a little white mage main i'm a little astrologian main and like i said i've not spent that much time playing the shield healers i do enjoy them and it does feel really cool to give people fat juicy shields but it's just something about sage i don't know what it is i'm gonna give sage a <laughs> okay i'm gonna give... this is really hard i'm gonna give sage an a I'm gonna give Sage an A because I'm gonna say true to myself. I'm gonna give Sage a B because it just, I do not feel as powerful as I would playing Scholar. If I'm gonna pick a shield healer, I'm gonna play Scholar. If I'm gonna pick a healer at all, I'm gonna pick Astro. So it's like, for me, it's just, it really is at the bottom of the list for healers. And it's the last one that I haven't leveled to 100 yet. So I don't know the level 100 rotation for Sage, but for now it goes in a b and you know maybe this will inspire me to get into it yeah but we'll see I, I, there's just something about sage it's sort of the same thing like red mage it just frustrates me and i feel like it uses so much mp like i'm used to white mage being really mp heavy but you have thin air and like you just have options with white mage whereas with sage if you fuck up and you don't have adder skull you have to simply wait for adder skull uh charges and your uh your diagnosis and prognosis spells do very 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 little healing potency and so there's just i'm just not quite there with sage yet again it probably really is a skill floor issue but moving on our last class <laughs> black mage <laughs> okay black mage has been the absolute last very very last class that i chose to level and even now i'm not even 90 for black mage yet so keep that in mind that i straight up never leveled this to 90 in endwalker because i just could not even with black mage like i would try to play it and I'd be like okay i get it i get the rotation but it feels so bad it's such a punishing class when you mess up. When you drop a Nokian, it is just, it just, ugh. It just makes me mad, you know what I mean? Because again, it is a little bit of a skill for issue, and I admit that. I'm a casual, I admit that. But I'm like 86 or something now, and I'm feeling pretty good about my Black Mage rotation. Before, I might have even put Black Mage in D, I'm gonna be so real with you, but now I'm gonna put Black Mage in A. I will be putting black mage in a and the reason why is the class identity is amazing the uh animations are really cool you feel really powerful as a black mage right you feel as though you're you're taking these long you're taking this 
these long cast times. You're taking all this time to cast a really powerful spell, right? Instead of a summoner where you're sort of like spamming like lesser potency spells. With Black Mage, you're sort of taking your time. You feel like a channeler. You know what I mean? You feel like you're putting your oomph in all your, uh, in every spell that you cast. And uh, for that, I'll give it an A. I would honestly give Black Mage an S if it wasn't just so brutally punishing when you drop an Okian. Like, if you're not paying attention, if you stop paying attention for one second and you drop an Okian, the DPS loss is <laughs> so brutal. It feels so bad and it's embarrassing and you're just like, oh my god, I hope no one notices. How embarrassing that was. I dropped my Enochian. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I don't know. I'm getting better with Black Mage, but... This is it! This is our tier list! This is our tier list! What do you think? <laughs> yeah! If you play Final Fantasy XIV, please be sure to leave a comment letting me know what your thoughts are on my rankings. Uh, let me know what your favorite class is, what you main. Uh, let me know if there's a class that you haven't played yet that now you want to play thanks to my tier list. Or if there's a class you're very upset about, like Ninja. You made Ninja and I put it in D. Are you upset? Because <laughs> it sucks. I hate Ninja. <laughs> I hate Ninja. Ninja is like objectively the worst class. Sorry. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment below. Please like this. Well, like the stream. <laughs> Please like the video and subscribe. Hey. Okay. What if you subscribed? what if <laughs> thank you so much everyone for watching Mwah! bye i have to sneeze <laughs> you edit that out <laughs> um, yeah.